What up folks, I am UltraZilla and today I have a review of the Godzilla X-Kong, the new Empire Giant Shimo. That's right my Zillans, if you've been following the Ultra Z news, you know that this was going to be happening soon. A few weeks back, we saw it at a show or months back, I don't remember how long ago. But last week, they officially announced that it was coming out in stores, Walmarts, Targets, all of that. It is up on Amazon right now. You can check the link down below. Also on Walmart, though, you do have to pay shipping there. So if you have Amazon Prime, it's better if you wait for the Amazon drop. But I did get it on Walmart because I was kind of excited to just get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, with the videos dropping on digital right now, with the movie dropping on digital right now, I figured it's a good time to uh, get uh, another Godzilla X-Kong figure here from a Playmates Toys, and it is the giant Shimo. Now, I know some folks are really excited about this to possibly go with some of the smaller figures because as we now know, Giant Shimo is pretty fitting because he is a giant character. But will it actually scale? Let's do the review and find out. And here's Giant Shimo out of the package. And it's pretty cool. And to my surprise, it's actually different than uh, the smaller ones. I thought it was going to be just upsize. You know, when I first got it, it looked just like an upsize version. But there is differences but before we get to that let's uh, look at the articulation which is very similar the mouth opens though not as far as the other one um then you have a nice ball joint at the neck which is pretty good the arms do go outwards like so go back and forth you do have uh swivels at the ankles on the back legs too these just go back and forth and then the tail is on a ball joint. So articulation wise, it is the same as the small one. But here's the small one with it. And uh, first off, on any of the giant figures, you always get the screw holes. It is what it is. Um, it's ugly. You see the screws, can't do nothing about it. It's just how they build these things. Materials are very different though throughout. This one, a little more hollow. But as you can see, a lot more sculpt on Shimo here, less sculpt there. The head, though, is definitely, I think uh, it's different. I don't know which is more or less. This one looks like it has more little spikies than this. It does. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences, which is very, very interesting. So that's kind of cool. You know, I, I dig that. I dig that. I do like this. The legs are a bit soft in the sculpt. But it looks good. There's no paint on it. I wish they did the paint like, um, you know, the two-pack on the small ones. That was a real nice. But it looks good enough, the arms. Then you got, again, all the screw holes. But all of this sculpt is very nicely done. Here's a better side of that. So really nice sculpt on the body. Um, the feet are good. It's got a lot of little scooties and stuff. So pretty cool looking. The back legs look better. The tail looks pretty good. Again, you know, like the other <laughs> figures in the line, they have translucent parts for the dorsal fins, but then when you get to the tail, it's just painted. It's fine. It looks pretty good, though. This one, I, I do like it. It's a big old tail. Sculpt is real nice. The purple looks good. Bottom is not purple, except uh, at the tip here, which is a really cool tip. Uh, but it looks good enough. And then the dorsal fins are really, really nice in the translucent uh, purple plastic. It is kind of a soft plastic, but it looks good. Looks really, really nice. Looks like candy. Looks like Jolly Ranchers. Uh, you got more spikes back here on the neck, which is very nicely done. Now, that's very different from the small one. The small one just has white, uh, you know, just sculpted in. This is translucent. Uh, and then, uh, you know, these over here look really good. The rest of his head looks really nice. I do not mind the less little spikes here. I think it just looks pretty good. And then uh, the eyes are just done in those little blue little things. He's got more of a tongue than the other one does, which is nice. And then you got yellow teeth, which is pretty good. And this is what this side looks like. I did see a little scuff mark right on the brow there. Might be poop. I don't know what it is. Um, but, you know, overall, I think this is a, a decent giant Shimo for sure. Uh, I don't mind it. So, yeah, not bad at all. But I think some folks are going to want to see this guy here.
And here is a giant Shimo with Scar King and Kong. And oh, he's too big. <laughs> He's definitely too big, guys. Like, I know you, some folks really wanted this, but I think it's too big. Um, yeah. However, the one that was sitting over here was the Battle Roar one. And I do think that one works a lot better. That is uh, way, way better, in my opinion, uh, as far as scaling goes. So, you know, you can have him seated there. If you so desire, but I don't know. Maybe he looks too big on there too. I, uh, you guys, let me know down below. We're gonna we're gonna show you how this one looks as well. So we'll see if this one looks better as this horsey or not. Ah, man, that's that's that looks pretty good. I gotta say that looks pretty decent. He's big. He's too big, but um, I don't know. I, I think you could get away with it. You know, I I, I don't know. I, I I could go either way. I do think the battle um, raw one is probably better scaled, but I don't mind how the smaller one looks on his shoulders either. And here are our giant figures all together. And yeah, scaling is uh, much more off here than uh, with the smaller figures, I must say, because all these guys are very big. And uh, Shimo should be bigger. Let's see how it looks all. Uh, when he stands up, if he can stand this one, let's see. He, he's a bit taller than Godzilla, so there's that, but I feel like he's, um, I feel like he's, he's still a bit small. What do you guys think? Can we put Scar King on his back? Hmm. Stay. Don't fall off the desk. Nah, that's too big. That is obviously way too big. <laughs> Crash. And my final thoughts? Well, you know what? This is a decent looking uh, Shimo. It's not a bad figure at all. Uh, I like it for what it is, a giant version of the character. It doesn't scale with the other giants, but you can scale it, I think, best with the Battle Royale figure. The small ones might be a little bit too small, but you know what? If you want to get it for that, he, you know, you saw Scar King sitting on him. It looks pretty decent too. It is a bit big, but you know what? Have at it. Have fun. It's just toys. Um, enjoy him however you want. But for sure, he works better with, you know, the smaller figures than he does with the bigger figures. And that, I feel like, is a no doubt. Um, so there you have it. Available now. Go check your Targets. Go check your Walmarts. You can order it online at walmart.com right now as well as amazon.com. I will have a link down below to it. So um, do check it out if you want to add it to your collection. It's only going to cost you about 25 bucks. I don't think it's well worth it. It's a big figure. Good price. And there you have it, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content and let me help you diversify your collection. Till next time, peace out. Peace.